<clears throat> Camera 2. Yes, goddess. Switch to gaming. Initiating pro gamer mode. Camera 1. Anything for you, my queen. Switch to webcam. Activating thought cam. Let me show you how you did all that. Something I've wanted for the longest time is the ability to control my stream using just my voice. Now, you might be thinking, okay, when am I ever going to need to do that? Well, for example, in my stream when I'm playing Apex, I have a separate just chatting scene that I use when I'm waiting in between games. But when I actually get into a game, I switch to my gaming scene. The problem is, I always forget to switch to my gaming scene until it's too late and I'm too busy trying to not die in bronze lobbies. But... With voice commands, I can just say, I'm gaming, daddy. Anything for you, my queen. And then it automatically switches to the scene for me. Obviously, there are many other examples. We've seen streamers like the Sushi Dragon switch camera angles using their voice, which I think would be really cool for like a cooking streamer that has multiple camera angles set up and they don't necessarily have access to their desk to click on OBS because maybe like their hands are messy or the desk is on the other side of the room. You can just change camera angles with your voice. In fact, the other week, one of my viewers told me that they have a disability that makes it difficult for them to control OBS with their hands. So using voice commands is just a nice way to make his life a little bit easier. So I forgot who asked me that, but yeah, this video is for you. You're welcome. I just came up with another reason for why you'd want to use voice commands. Bro. When does this guy stop talking? Like, come on, man. Like, speed it up. I got places to be. Oh. Okay. That was kind of rude, but I guess I should just show you how to do it now. In order to do voice commands, you're going to need a program called the Voice Attack. Now, Voice Attack is a program that has many applications outside of just streaming, but basically it's very powerful software that listens to phrases in your voice. And then when it hears a phrase that you set, it can execute a program or it can do a virtual key press or it can do text to speech. It can do a lot. And so basically we're going to leverage the power of voice attack and then send commands to OBS. So I'm going to show you a simple way, an intermediate way and the advanced way of doing that. But you can't do any of that without installing the software. So head on over to the link in the description box down below to download voice attack. It does cost $10 but they do have an unlimited trial that allows you to have 20 commands and one profile, which I think for a lot of people is gonna be more than enough. So if you didn't wanna pay for it, that's fine. The free version is more than enough for this video. By the way, this video isn't sponsored, but know what I'm saying? Once you've downloaded Voice Attack, just run through the installation. It's pretty straightforward. Just follow the instructions. It's going to ask you to set up a microphone and train the speech engine, which I highly recommend doing just because it helps it recognize your voice. After you've gone through the whole setup process, you'll see this window. And if you just speak into your microphone, you'll see that every single sentence that you say should be recognized and written out into this window. Now, it's not going to do much because you haven't programmed anything. But if you just say something like, Hello. Good day to you. It does have some pre-programmed commands already set up. To add your own commands, click in this button here and it's gonna bring up this window. So you'll see a list of all the pre-populated commands. So if you say the word calculator, it's gonna open up the calculator app on your PC. Click on new commands to create your own command. And the most important thing is this top field here that says, when I say, in this box, you just want to type in whatever phrase you want. So for example, I'm just going to say switch to webcam and then just press OK and then done. And then in the main window, when you say that phrase, it's going to say recognized with a green box next to it. That means it's recognizing the phrase that you wrote. Just keep in mind that when you're saying these phrases, make sure that you leave a short pause before and after so that voice attack properly recognizes that you're saying that phrase. Okay, so how do we hook up voice attack to OBS? We're gonna start with the simplest, most basic small brain method. Like, even if you've got the smoothest brain that even like koalas would be like, wow, this guy doesn't know what's going on. Like, even you can figure this out. You're gonna go into edit command and then underneath where it says 
when this command executes, do the following, you're going to click on key press. The idea is that when you say your voice command is going to do a virtual key press, which you can then use as a hotkey and just hook directly into OBS. What I like to do is set the key press to an F13 to F24 key. I've talked about this in previous videos, but yeah, Windows actually recognizes F13 to F24, even if it doesn't show on most people's keyboards. But whatever, set it to whatever key combination that you want. Then you just have to go into your OBS settings under hotkeys, and then any of these hotkeys that you have listed here, you just have to say your phrase. So switch the webcam and then that virtual key press that you set should appear in any of the boxes. By the way, because we're just doing simple virtual key presses, this method actually works in Streamlabs OBS. Woo! Yeah, Streamlabs. Now, if for some reason that virtual key press isn't appearing in OBS and you're absolutely sure that you've set up everything right, make sure that if you're running OBS in admin mode, voice attack needs to also be running in admin mode. Otherwise, the virtual key presses are not gonna recognize. But what if you wanna do more complicated things like toggling sources on and off, changing filters, um, changing scene transitions, adding delays, all those complicated things. These are things that you typically need something like Touch Portal or Stream Deck or Leoran Board to accomplish. Well, the great thing is Leoran Board actually has a feature where if you press a hotkey, it activates any of the commands you have set up. Wait, what's a, what's a Leoran Board? Okay, so if this is the first time you're ever hearing of Leoran Board, then What's wrong with you, man? Like, get with the times. What are you, living the dark ages? I did a whole video introducing Leoran Board, so you should totally check it out. Click on the... That thing should appear up there. But watch that video. But basically, to summarize it, it's powerful macro software, even more powerful than an actual Stream Deck that allows you to script really complicated macros to do things in OBS like toggle sources, filters, etc. whole bunch of stuff. For example, here's a somewhat complex command I did entirely within Leoran Board. It basically mimics that Wraith portal effect. You know that one where she goes phasing and then she like goes into the void and whatever. I'm not gonna get into every single step I did to script this command, but basically it's just toggling on and off a bunch of different color correction filters and shaders and even voice changers. The point is, this is a pretty complex macro, but what you can do in Leoran board is you can right click in the button, go to copy button ID, then go back to your main menu, then click on trigger shortcut. Then all you have to do is enter in your key combination that you use for your voice attack command here, and then underneath where it says extension trigger or button ID, just copy paste your button ID there. And then now in my case, all I have to do is say the word sniper. Phasing. And then it does this whole crazy super advanced effect. Probably way more than what most people are gonna do, but I just wanted to give you an example of combining voice attack with Leoran board to do very complex macros. Of course, if you wanted to do something simple like just changing scenes or changing camera angles, you can do that, but basically anything you can do in Leoran board, you can now hook up to voice commands. All right, so time for the advanced part. This is for all you hardcore OBS PhD scholars out there, the ones like me who have way too much time in their hands. Up to now, all of the methods I've showed you require you to set up hotkeys which I absolutely hate doing. Because there are only so many key combinations that you can never guarantee that they'll never conflict with any of the games or any of the programs that you have running. This method doesn't require hotkeys at all. We're gonna be using something called OBS Command, and this is a tool that the community recently got me to use, and it is absolutely amazing. Essentially, OBS Command is a tool that allows you to control OBS directly from the command line. If you're not familiar with command line, it's basically that black window that they type all that gibberish into in all those movies. And it sounds scary, but stick with me, especially towards the end of the video, because I'm gonna talk about something that's I'm working on. Anyway, because it's a command line utility, we're able to write out really complex macros, which not only bypass the need for hotkeys whatsoever, but you can write really complex commands that are just as complicated as all the commands that you can write out in Leoran board or touch portal. The only problem is because there's no user interface, you have to go through the painful process of writing out all your commands by hand, which is really tedious and takes a long time. 
but that's where my secret project comes in. Again, we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. So I left a link down below to where you can download OBS command. I'm gonna assume that you have some experience using the command line, but here's a quick example of how it works. If I open up command line and type in OBS command.exe and then slash scene, and then the name of any of the scenes I have in OBS, when I hit enter, it's going to switch scenes for me. And you can do things like toggling sources on and off. So you write in slash toggle source, and then the name of a source, and it would toggle that source on and off in OBS. And you can run as many commands as you want. So if you want to toggle two sources on and off, then you just put toggle source, the name of the source. And then for your second source, you put toggle source again, and then the name of your second source. You can even do things like adding delays by typing in slash delay and then the number of seconds. Lots of cool stuff you can do. I recommend that you read the documentation on the OBS forums page because it lists all the different things that you can do with OBS command. But we want to do this in voice attack and not through the command line. So how do we do that? In voice attack, click on other, windows, and then run an application. The application that you wanna run is that OBS command.exe that you downloaded from the description box. And then in the parameters field, this is where you'd put all your commands. So if you wanted to change scene, then you'd write slash scene and then the name of the scene that you wanna to switch to. Again, you can put as many commands as you want. Just make sure you put them all within this parameters field. And then when you're happy with it, click on test run and see if it changes scene or does whatever your command does in OBS. You'll notice that when you're testing your command, it's gonna open up a command prompt window, which is probably not what you want. So make sure that the window style is set to hidden. So that's just gonna run your command, but it's gonna make sure that that command prompt window doesn't actually open up. But yeah, that's basically the advanced part. Just press okay, say whatever your phrase is and check that it works. Here's, here's one for you, enhance. So yeah, now before wrapping up, I did say I have a secret project because I know a lot of you guys are probably scared of command prompt and you don't wanna to have to go and write out all your commands. So I'm actually developing my own user interface for OBS command. I can't talk too much about it yet because it's still in very early stages of development, but here's a sneak preview just to see what it will kind of look like eventually. I've only spent like a couple hours working in this, so still a bit to go, but stay tuned because we're going to talk more about this in a future video. Anyway, that's voice commands. Guys, if you like this video, that's great. Love it. Guys, if you want to learn more about the super advanced stuff that you can do in OBS, make sure to jump into my Twitch streams. I stream four nights a week and I'm always doing just chatting, talking about streaming stuff. So it's a great time for everyone, I think. Also, make sure to join the Discord. We have over a dozen members. So if you want to talk to like one or two people, make sure to do that. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. If I don't see you for the rest of your year, happy Christmas, Merry New Year's, happy holidays. I'll, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. Sniper. Phasing.